Welcome to the vlog, welcome to No Boring Days. Today we are joining a race. But it's a race called Elevate. The main part of the race is basically a hill climb from JY to Tops. That is passing the most popular climb here in Cebu. And it's gonna hurt. And I'm not gonna do great. But it's gonna be a lot of fun. And the legs are gonna get a pretty good workout. Let's go. All right. While we are passing the two kilometer neutral section through the main city roads, they can't race through the stoplights and the cars for safety reasons. I will quickly explain the race for some context. The race is called Elevate Race to the Top. It's organized by the Ateneo de Cebu alumni. It's basically a hill climb race through the most popular climb in Cebu. The entire climb is roughly 9 kilometers with a 6.5% average gradient. That's about 600 meters climb. It has very, very steep bits. Especially towards the end where it hovers well over 10% and hits 20% at some sections. I entered the age group category of 30 to 39. I am one of the oldest in my age group. I am getting old. So after passing this stoplight, this signifies the start of the climb. So for me, the goal was to empty myself. I would try to stick with the fast guys for as long as I could, then just try my hardest to finish the entire race. I was going to treat this race as a very, very hard workout. The first section of the race is a climb called the Marco Polo Climb. In the middle of this climb is where I couldn't stay with the group. So there's me saying bye. Bye bye. It was good while it lasted. Bye. Wait for me. Please. But I was still going as hard as my legs could take me. So, one of the funny things that I found about racing was that it really gives you this weird excuse to push yourself. If this were just a training ride, there would have been many sections where I would have naturally started to take it easy. But with racing, I found myself overtaking a few people and then being super paranoid that they were right behind me and waiting for me to crack. At some point, I looked back and I just didn't see anyone there. Of course, that didn't stop me from being overtaken by some of the much faster guys. Here's a video of me being overtaken by someone in the 50 to 59 yeah. category. Yeah, boy! Thank you, Gino, for the video and being there at the exact time that this was happening. That old guy eventually disappeared into the distance. So I'm not sure at what place I finish. I tried asking the officers in the finish line, but I didn't want to bother them too much because they were in the middle of recording everyone's finish. <laughs> They just told me I finished about 50th overall, which included, I'm guessing, about 40 riders from the earlier categories. The male elites 
and 18 to 29 age cats. So that's that's not too bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. Hopefully, if they post the rankings after the video goes live, I will include my placement in the YouTube description. So the treasured segment from this race is probably the one called Buak Climb. It's the usual long climb that most people do. It ends right before the super steep part at the end of the race and tops. So I was able to beat my previous PR by about 2 minutes. For the race, I managed it in about 34 minutes and 30 seconds. My average heart rate was 177 beats per minute with a max of 193 beats per minute. I cannot remember the last time my heart rate reached 190. Crazy. So to be honest, I didn't think I would enjoy this race. When I signed up for the race, I thought it would be a good way to support the Ateneo de Cebu alumni and get a proper high-intensity workout in the legs. I was able to get those, but also it turned out to be so much fun. I really think Cebu would be an awesome place to have a regular hill climb series. Imagine if we had a series of races similar to the UK hill climb season. Pick a few months in the year, have races every other weekend, different hills for every race. We have so many. We have hills that could be 30-minute time trials, 20-minute time trials, even 10-minute time trials. I think it would be really fun. Yeah, you just time trial up the hill, bring whatever bike you want, no limitations in terms of equipment. Imagine the guys showing up with a super light bling bikes. It'll be really fun. Anyway, there will be a winner after every race, and then at the end of the series, there will be an overall winner determined by some sort of point system. First of all, it would be super fun to, to join a bunch of races like that. And it's generally a safe race to ride because hill climbs are pretty slow, you know, in comparison to uh, like a flat ride where some of the riders go 40 to 50 kilometers an hour. And the race will likely end at a reasonable time. So in theory, it should be easy to organize. This suggestion is from someone who would probably never win a hill climb race. I am too big, too heavy, too slow to really win a hill climb race, but it is so much fun just to empty yourself up a climb. So if someone decides to organize like a hill climb series or a hill climb uh, season, uh, let me know. I would be happy to share my thoughts about it. I'm hoping to have more hill climbs in the future. Here are a few more clips from the race. So, GG, how's the race? <laughs> so fast, man. I got here way ahead of everyone. I also left an hour early. <laughs> I still got caught by the lead group. <laughs> no, but the race, the race, the race started early. Yeah, bye. So, was good. Thank you. I graduated. Jer, congratulations, Jer. How was it? I would have rather slept. <laughs> what? Classic. 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 